Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Greywell Entertainment. And I'm Zane Pendleton with Greywell and the Salt Pot Media site. This is the Greywell Entertainment update for the release day of September 3rd, 2013. It's a gigantic release day. There's so much stuff. Um, we're only going to touch the tip of the iceberg and then yeah. we can come in and filter through the rest. One of the big releases of the day is Nine Inch Nails' new album, Hesitation Marks. Trent Reznor is sober and prolific and putting out a bunch of good stuff. He's been um, doing all of his soundtrack stuff with Addicts Tross, all of his side projects like How to Destroy Angels. This is a full Nine Inch Nails album. Um, they've been previewing tracks from it online. There's a lot of really good stuff they've been previewing. The album's getting tons of like good reviews and a lot of good hype. Um, definitely, definitely need to be picked yeah. up. It's so. got we have it on LP, 180 gram, two LP, and we also have it on a deluxe CD that comes with a bonus disc with three remixes and their standard regular CD. So Nine Inch Nails is back, and it's a great album. Next album for you on Sargent House is Chelsea Wolf. The album is called Pain is Beauty. She is destined to explode with this record and become the biggest thing in the world. For all the indie crowd and all the record store people, she's already quite big, but I think this is the next level for her. So um, this comes on CD as well. Uh, great looking album, great sounding record. It's very, very it's good. It's incredibly good. It's hard. To, I, I can't stop listening to it. Like I've been consistently listening to it since it's, since it's been available for streaming and stuff, and it's, it's great. And like you said, the vinyl package is awesome on this too. So, yes, absolutely. Chelsea Wolf, one of my favorite ladies of all time, has a new album out on Anti, uh, Nico Case. The album is called The Worst Things Get, The Harder I Fight, The Harder I Fight, The More I Love You. Um, we have it on standard CD, standard LP, and then this deluxe edition gatefold 2 LP set. It has three bonus tracks, a booklet, and a temporary tattoo set. And there actually is a deluxe CD version that has the same three bonus tracks. Um, I don't know what else to tell you about Nico Case. She has an amazing voice. This is She'll be at Red Butte Garden uh, in a few weeks, like later in September, performing there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the tickets are already sold out because they tend to sell out fast at Red Butte, but if they're still available, you should go. Beautiful redheaded wonder with an amazing voice and great, great talent. She's awesome. Kelly Hogan, much other people are on the record too, so it's pretty good. Ockerville River has a new album. Um, it is called the Silver Gymnasium uh, on ATO Records. I think it's our first release on ATO. Uh, everything else, the great indie band, very popular. If you are familiar with them, it's just very exciting to have a new album. There's a full map that folds out of this thing. I was looking at the, their Instagram feed today. It's very cool. So Silver Gymnasium. A new album. Is this, this is a new album, correct? On Death yeah. Wish. It's a brand new album. They did a thing where if you uh, if you had pre-ordered it through Death Wish, you got the digital download immediately. So there have been people listening to it already, even though its actual physical release date is on the third. Um, but this is the new Modern Life Is War album called Fever Hunting. Um, we've got it on CD and LP. It's on Death Wish, and it sounds like what you would expect from Death Wish. We've talked about Death Wish on the video a ton of times before. Um, it's that mix of like punk and hardcore and metal and, and uh, all that together. So, cool. King Kong and the Shrines are back all together. Full. There's been King Kong and the Barbecue Show, a bunch of different uh, versions. This is King Kong and the Shrines' new album. It is called Idle No More on Merge Records. I don't know what to tell you. Barbecue, party rock, bar it's rock. It's great garage, psyche, rock and roll. Like, it's rock and roll. That's good. There you go. New album from Vista Chino. Vista Chino is Peace. This is an album's called Peace. It is Brant Bjork and, oh crap, what's the other guy's name? From Caius, formerly of Caius. It's John two Garcia. Yeah, it's two members from Caius, the Desert Rock psych band and, um, yeah huge huge deal and this sounds like that sounds right right up that same alley so mm -hmm. uh, if you enjoy Caius or any of the desert rock stuff we've talked about like Black Heat Shuja and some other bands uh, in the new release videos this is for you too Volcano Choir has a new record out on Jag Jaguar this is uh, a band that features Justin Vernon from Bon Iver. Um really pretty indie more electronic than most of the Bon Iver stuff uh, really great record, really interesting. There's so much good stuff. This is just another one on the pile. So if you're building your indie record collection and uh, you got some money to blow, come see us because there's a lot. A couple reissues I want to go over real quick. Uh, number one, these are uh, Record Store Day releases that are now being re-released. They're not the colored editions. They're, not the, they're just the standard, you know, updated versions of the Record Store releases. At the Drive-In, Relationship of Command. Um, 
classic record. It's one of the best you'll ever hear if you're into that sound. It was, you know, it's a lot. It's on a lot of top 100 lists for just rock and alternative albums. And um, at the drive-in, split and became Sparta and the Mars Volta, and then the Mars Volta has turned into Omar Rodriguez Lopez and all kinds of different things. So this is all where it yeah. started. So and then. Um, the White Stripes Elephant reissue, finally back in standard print. Um, Probably their biggest and most well-known. I agree. Album, but the most, the most playtime, and mm -hmm. just I mean, it's a huge deal on being on vinyl again in this really nice. It's like the big tip-on like gatefold heavy jacket. Weight. It's really heavyweight and thick. It's really nice. Cool. So, so those are two good reissues to come pick up. And then the last reissue we talk about on vinyl, and we have it on CD as well, is a band called Blast. Uh, it's on Southern Lord. This album is a unearthed, unreleased, self-created blast recording session that Dave Grohl got his hands on and mixed and made it sound really good. So, Dave Grohl fans, he's got good taste in music. Any you know metal fan, blast is yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's like noisy punk and roll kind of stuff. So oh, there you go, great reissue on vinyl and CD. All right, I have a bunch of metal to run through, so I'm gonna hit a bunch of stuff really fast. But before I talk about the actual metal, I'm gonna talk about this. It's uh, Blood on the Dance Floor, uh, Bad Blood. I have to talk about it. Uh, for fans of Skrillex, <laughs> Eminem, Marilyn Manson, and Depeche Mode. So, there you go. All right. <laughs> There's a new uh, Creator album. Um, Creator's a like famous thrash band. Um, this is a German thrash legend to celebrate 30 years of thrash. Um, this is a two disc live set on CD, or if you get this deluxe digipack, it's a three disc deluxe version with two CDs and one DVD of, uh, of I, I'm assuming, live perform. It's uh, live in Oberhausen uh, on the 22nd of December 2012, which is supposed to be the end of the world, right? No, it was the 21st, huh? No. And then, uh, it, so it it's got, happen. has tons of backstage, like has like backstage videos, music videos, live performances, and then live tracks. So if you're a creator fan, that's like a must, must buy. Um, also, Teresa's 2013 is the name of the album. Um, it's just called Teresa's 2013. Um, Teresa's is for fans of Fintroll and Cipherum, uh, Corpaclani, it's uh, European folk metal. Uh, they paint their faces all in red and black. They play with accordions, violins, all kinds of folk instruments along with the metal. So if you're into that stuff, these guys are, they're really like, their live shows are crazy and, and uh, it's very energetic stuff. So um, Gore Guts has a new album here. Uh, Reawakened Canadian technical death metal masters Gore Guts return with their triumphant new album Colored Sands. Recommended if you like death, necro necrophagist, suffocation, and atheist. Um, this is on Season of Mist, and it's a big deal because uh, Gorguts has a big following. And uh, if you're into technical death metal or just death metal in general, you're going to probably want to listen to that. Um, also out, uh, this is metal-ish, metal-related. Um, this is called Revamp. Its album is called Wild Card. Uh, it features Floor Jansen. Um, she was in After Forever, and she's a current touring vocalist for Nightwish, the power metal band. Um, this has uh, members of Epica and Textures and Devin Townsend on it as well. So it's you can basically expect female, uh, clean female vocals at the front of like a European metal band. Annihilator has this new best of collection. It's called Feast. This is the 3D lenticular cover version of this. Um, it's a uh, 15 songs best of re-recorded in 2012, so they've they've gone back through their classic stuff and re-recorded it, and then um, this includes a bonus disc with more songs than just the nine included on the regular disc there. So, and then getting into some of the weirder, more obscure metal stuff, um, there's uh, on the Flenser, which is a black metal record label. It's kind of starting to like gain traction and become more popular. Um, there's a band called Loss of Self, 12 minutes. Um, this is for fans of like Wolves in the Throne Room, Deaf Heaven. Um, it's like post-black metal. Um, it's really interesting, really kind of noisy-ish, and uh, so you should check that out. Um, there's also Vasileth on Profound Lore, and also on Profound Lore, uh, AMSG, um, AMSG Anti-Cosmic Tyranny, and Vasileth All Uproarious Darkness. Um, these are basically, this is satanic black metal on Profound Lore, and Vasileth is, uh, what did you say, is like kind of the same, along the same lines. Um, Profound Lore tends to stick to the same same sort of thing. Um, and then also on Century Media, a uh, band called Vatnet Viscar. The spelling will be in the description for the video because it's kind of hard to spell, but um, the album is called Sky Swallower. It's for fans of uh, Godspeed, 
Neurosis, Swans, and Agaloc. Um, so it's just a big mix of, of heavy post metal and uh, other other metal related genres. So there's that. So lots and lots of metal. And like Dustin mentioned, we're we're just barely talking about just the surface <laughs> of everything that came out. So there's even more stuff that that I didn't get to touch on. So right, there's a band, new band on um, Vagrant Records through Interscope called the 1975. It's their debut album. They're from England. Uh, it's kind of alternative indie rock stuff from England. We um, are featuring this because it's rock stuff that people like. And also we're doing, if you follow us on our Facebook page, we're doing a ticket giveaway for this band. So they play here soon. Their album comes out now on uh, on the 3rd. If you watch this video, go to the Facebook page at facebook.com slash graywell and you can sign up to win tickets. So there's that. Um, John Legend has a new album coming out featuring Rick Ross and a handful of other people. Seal is on a song with him. It is called Love in the Future. Uh, guy's got one of the best smoky voices ever. Um, I haven't really listened to any of his records lately, but you know. And this deluxe comes with four bonus tracks. There's a regular and a deluxe, but the deluxe that he's got here has the four bonus tracks on it. There you go. For you um, country fans and kind of bluegrass picking fans, there's a new Over the Rhine called uh, Meet Me at the Edge of the World. It's a two disc set. It's awesome, very pretty. Great, vo you know, great vocals. Produced by Joe Henry. Um, kind of has the picking and the bluegrass and the pretty female vocal harmony. It's really great. And this band right here is called the Grams. Uh, Riverman's Daughters. The album. It's um, really similar to if you mix Civil Wars with like Gillian Welch. Kind of have she has a Gillian Welch style voice, kind of deeper, but very pretty. Good harmonies. Uh, very good. Really interesting record. So pick that one up. Um, a few just quick mentions. The Lawrence Arms lead singer, um, Chris McCon, he has a new album out called Sundowner Neon Fiction. Ed Roland and the Super T Project. Ed Roland is popular due to the fact that he was the lead singer of, see? Collective Soul. Collective Soul. That's what he was in, so this is his new site. Thing. Well, it's new I don't know if it classifies as a side thing when Collective Soul is not really. I mean, I guess they had that new album like a couple years ago, but this is this a new thing. new thing that he's doing. And then for everyone around here in Utah, which will sell the crap out of this because everyone loves Pepper, the new Pepper. It is self titled. Yep. They just played the uh, X96 Big Ass show, so I'm sure everybody's waiting for this new album to actually come out because I, I don't know that it was available there, um, but it will be out now as of September 3rd. There you go. And then a, a, re, a kind of a re-release, uh, interesting one. That's JJ Doom, uh, Keys to the Cuff, the Butter Edition. Basically, what this is is the regular album. Then there's a bonus EP, featuring a bunch of remixes from um, Dave Sitak from TV on the Radio, Tom York and Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead. Beck does a remix, and then it has Del the Funky Homo Sapien on a couple songs. Um, very cool remix album. Uh, the JJ Doom Key to the Cuff regular edition is great, and you get that with this, but you get the bonus EP as well. So if you haven't picked it up yet, come get this. That is just a small sampling, a very large small sampling of everything we've got. So remember to come into the store and you can look at the uh, new release sheets, and then come just look at our new release walls too, because there's tons. There'll be a ton more product up there this week. And remember, you can listen to anything, like anything that looks interesting, or if you have any questions about it, they can answer your questions and let you preview the CDs before you buy them. So. All right, so we'll go into movies. We'll go fast here. We have these on Blu-ray and DVD, mostly all of them. Um, if we don't, I'm sorry, but we should. The new Rob Zombie movie, Lords of the Lords of Salem, starring his wife, of course. Uh, kind of witchcraft, black, black, you know. Got Satan got a uh, mixed reviews. Some people really, really liked it. People who like horror films, some people really liked it. A lot of people hated it. So, um, kind of. Well, Rob Zombie has a very cool looking style. Visually, he's great, and sometimes the stories people don't say if you're like, a fan of his other films, you probably are going to dig this yeah. too. Yeah, so pick that up. Um, a new Studio Ghibli movie that's now out here in America. Um, it's called From Up on Poppy Hill. I don't know anything about this movie. It's uh, set in 1960s Japan. They're rebuilding after World War II and getting ready to host the Olympics, but it's actually like a, a drama about um, some kids that are growing up during that time period. So it's an interesting period piece. Um, the dramas from Studio Ghibli always sound kind of like boring at first blush like when you read the synopsis but when you watch them you realize how actually good they are like everything that they do like that so it's great and it's it is written by Hayao Miyazaki and it features voices from whoa everybody yeah the voice acting cast on this is amazing so yeah. Bo Bridges Jillian Anderson Ron Howard Chris Noth Aubrey Plaza 
Anton Yelchin, Christina Hendricks, Isabel Thurman, Bruce Dern. <laughs> just everybody you can think everybody. of. Everybody. Um, now You See Me, which actually just Lewis Letter just got greenlit for a sequel to this movie. It's about magicians that are bank robbers starring Mark Ruffalo, Common, Morgan Freeman. Uh, is the Fisher's in it? Melanie Laurent from uh, Inglorious Bastards is in it. There's a lot of people. So yeah. it's about bank robbers. Cockneys versus Zombies, a Scream Factory specialty. Uh, it's really funny. It's about a bunch of inept young criminals in England that are trying to get away with a bunch of stuff involving a bunch of old people, and there's a zombie outbreak. So, say for fans of Shaun of the Dead, um, Attack the Block, um, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. All that yeah, kind of stuff. Absolutely. The Iceman, starring Michael Shannon. Uh, it's the story of Richard Kuklinski, who's one of the most notorious hitmen for the mob ever. Um, apparently, this is great. Uh, the, the one thing I read about it made me laugh, and it thinks it makes it makes it sound immediately awesome to me. Is it's Zodiac meets Goodfellas, <laughs> <laughs> and it's got Michael Shannon, in it, who I absolutely love. He's great. So check that one out. And the made-for-TV movie that everyone loved, that so much it got a sequel, Sharknado. It's finally here. You can take it home and enjoy it for yourself over Enough and over said. and over. Cult classic <laughs> is born. All right, and there's a handful of TV releases for on CD or I'm on Blu-ray and DVD. It's always sunny in Philadelphia season eight. We were debating if this was the Fat Max season, but apparently it's the season after the Fat Max. So still funny, still great show. Moving to FXX, everyone just calm down. It's just a new comedy. Yeah, channel. season nine. It's just FX's comedy channel. It'll <laughs> still be available. So. The League Season 4 um, If you haven't, wa haven't watched The League before You should definitely pick up We have all the other ones used You should pick them up and get involved Because the show is really funny and really good And don't be put off by the fact that it's about a bunch of guys Who play fantasy football Because it, it does not matter if you play fantasy football Because it's so much funnier than that So, yeah. The Office Season 9 The final, or the farewell season They're calling it This is the final season um, Yeah the show kind of faltered towards the end, got a little slow, but they picked up really good the last couple episodes, tied it all up nicely. So there's The Office for you fans. And Parks and Rec Season 5. It's one of the funniest TV shows on television ever at all right now. So Why this? Just to see Ron Swanson get a makeover from some little girls. <laughs> Best thing ever. All right. So that's everything. Um, this weekend we will be at Salt Lake Comic Con Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you haven't bought your tickets, get them now. Um, come visit our booth. We'll have a bunch of exclusive Kid Robot stuff that's, you know, new. We'll have a bunch of art print collectibles, a bunch of fun stuff. Us and the uh, Graywell and the uh, Salt Pop podcast guys will be totally jocking you to get your money. So <laughs> yeah, We'll have lots of stuff for you to buy. We'll be giving away a lot of uh, discounts and prizes. Discounts, free headphones, gift certificates, toys, all kinds of free stuff. So come see us at the booth. Come spend some money. All three days it. if you're there, come see us. Come yeah. hang out. Come and we will announce all this on our uh, Instagram and Twitter. Follow us there at Graywell SLC as well as our Facebook page, which, which we talked about earlier. Yep. Um, and also remember to go to saltpop.net for all of our updates with our website, all of our game reviews, video game streams, movie reviews, all kinds of different stuff and including links to the, our video if you're not already watching this on our YouTube channel which you sub should subscribe to at youtube.com slash Utah and at youtube.com slash official.